We have to do this look. This look has not been good to me. I have scrapped the first look and now we're going to attempt to do it again. Fingers crossed because I almost gave up on this. Let's hope this time the look is good. Hi guys, welcome back for today's look. So it's just a look the face is done because we're focusing on the liners i have to do eyeshadow for this look and i'm going to be using my Tobay glow cosmetics sun sea and sand palette Tobay glow cosmetics was part of the love and local series it was episode one it was not for this palette however it was for their coco collection so if you all haven't seen it go check it out so i will be using this palette today i'll just be showing you all the colors as we go along it won't be much talking and of course, I'm going to be using TT Ravishing Lashes and um, of course, I am going to be using some of my Selfish Cosmetics brushes and I did use my Shaded by Shonda Sponge. You know, we're keeping it local, you know, as we go along. So, just gonna jump into the video today. No talking, just the look. Hopefully, it works this way. Godspeed. <laughs> I'm going to put down some powder in case there's any fall out in this look I feel like that's a lot but just in case you know just in case so the first shade I took was Coco and I applied this to my crease I blended it out as evenly as I possibly could because this was my transition color Next, I took the shade Brain Coral to blend out the edges of Coco, and this is just to make sure that it's nice and even and a clean transition blended look. And after I used Brain Coral, I used the shade Pui, which is the yellow. You all know I love the yellow, and I applied this to my brow bone, and I always go back in with the colors that I used before. So when I was done with Pui, I went back in with Brain Coral, and then I went back in with Coco to make sure everything was there, nothing was lost. And for the lid, I used the shade Lights Out, which is the black eyeshadow. And, and I applied this to my entire lid and blended it out. And I did go back in with Coco just to, to make sure that the transition was good and clean. So now we've reached the point where it's time to add the liners. This is where it flopped last time. So I'm going to attempt to do it properly this time. Hopefully it doesn't flop. Y'all really do see like the brainstorm session behind the scenes. So if you're saying the first color I'm going to use is the pink. The only problem I have with this is that I I have hooded eyes. So if it doesn't dry as quickly and it goes into my crease and I look up, then it will smudge. You know, that's the only issue I could see so far. Other than the fact that this is not even and it's irritates on me, but we're just gonna work with it because Okay, so, so far so good, so far so good. Okay, what I will say is, because you know, this is my swatching board. I did combine the yellow and the white because I found that the yellow was a little too um, thin and the white is a lot creamier, so I combined the two so I would get a thicker consistency similar to the pastels. So that's what I'm gonna be using and not just the plain yellow. I'm 
no, I don't like that. And I just pour my whole look. We're gonna take this off. We have to take this off. Okay, the good thing is that it's our effects. So water removes it. Let's see if I can salvage a look though. I'm gonna use a lip wand. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's use a Q-tip. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So I think I'm liking where this, this side looks better because, you know, precision and everything. It went higher and everything. This side is not bad, but you know when I always look better than the other? I still feel like it's missing something, so I'm going to put some stuff on the inside, like some dots and stuff. But I'm just going to do that with all the different colors and just be right back. That concludes my demo of the T Beauty Aqua FX liners. It definitely, like I said in the first video, they definitely do give me that face paint vibe. And I was very pleased with how, with the payoff of it. You know, some, some of them are really thin. This is not thin. The color payoff is very thick. It's very creamy. Just as it looks in the container, it doesn't like, you know, with the exception of the yellow, which is very light. Um, but I mixed that with the white and that gave me the color. It looks kind of green, but it's yellow. Um, yeah. But I loved it. I loved how it helped with my look. And finally, I don't have to do this video over again. So, guys, that's it. Be sure to check out their Instagram page and support. It's very inexpensive. And we saw how we could clean up the messes because we all saw the messes. And it was so easy to clean up and it did not ruin my makeup at least i don't think so thank you all for coming back for episode four part two and yes part two nope nope thank you for staying tuned for more in episode four of love and local series and i hope to see you all in the rest of the episodes because there's so much more to come thank you guys so much for supporting love and local and i love you and i'll see you all in the next episode.